guys, it's Shenanigans with Story O. So welcome to the channel. Hey, I was wondering, you know, Shenanigans has a good ring to it. I was wondering, maybe Candy Burst would see this video and she would decide um, by the kindness of her heart to write me an intro. You know, they say dream big and put it out there what you want. So it wouldn't be cool if for those of you who don't know Candy Burr, she is one of the Atlanta housewives and she's a songwriter, Grammy winner. She's amazing, an entrepreneur, all of those things. She does everything. So in her spare time, and she's a mom, in her spare time, I was wondering if she would probably write me an opening song to shenanigans. Huh. Well, one could dream. But anyway, all of that to say, welcome to Shenanigans today. It's Story O. And today's Shenanigans includes a product test, of course. Um, love testing out new products. And I gotta say that I have been um, really stuck on the beauty products and the cosmetics world. Today's Shenanigans will include the foundation from Minted. So Minted Cosmetics. And um, basically, I heard about this company, I came across it, I was looking online, and um, if you're not familiar with their story, started by two young women, um, KJ and Amanda, and they were sitting around over a glass of Pinot, and they came up with a brilliant idea to develop a cosmetics company. It started out, I believe, with a focus on new lipstick, and launched into other products if i'm not mistaken but anyway you you recall when you sit when you go out with your friends and y'all are throwing it back and having a good time over a glass of pinot or a glass of red wine and you're throwing out the, all those wonderful ideas well this is proof you need to write those ideas down and we need to get started on them because it can morph into you know, a beautiful company of cosmetics. Who would have thought? But anyway, I'm glad they had that glass of Pinot. Today, I wanted to test out the product because I'm always looking and, and just shopping around to increase my arsenal of things, all things cosmetic. And so I wanted to try out the foundation stick. First, let's start off with the packaging. If you are new to the channel, Thanks for checking me out. Please make sure you subscribe and ring the bell because I do post videos and reviews weekly and um, love for you to come in and join in and leave comments below and share your thoughts and, um, and your similar experiences or if you had different experiences, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. Join us, shenanigans with story. Join us now before I get the hit you know, opening that Candy Burris is going to write. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to business. Back to business. So, Minted. Everybody knows, if you watch some of my videos, the packaging matters to me. So, I want to go through the packaging. And basically, with my foundation stick, the color is on the bottom of them. But with my foundation stick came this nice little palette which will tell you all the colors that it comes in or all the shades. I did um, match myself to M30. So we'll see today if I did that correctly. But I like this because if you have friends and over a glass of Pinot, you could share this and they could potentially match themselves before they order. So love this. And if for some reason you matched yourself incorrectly online, this is a great tool that we can use to kind of figure out the right matching. Because like I said, I don't know if I got the right match, but I think I'm pretty close. I also ordered a new brush. The new brush, I love, I, I have to get new brushes every time because I have to build my arsenal of brushes. I just want one for foundation, one for this and one for that. So I tend to pile up and stack up on my makeup brushes. So new brush added to it. I am starting out with a clean face, um, moisturized and everything. I did touch up the brows and the lashes are in place. So now let's get started with applying the makeup 
and uh, go from there. So I have applied the stick, as you can see, it's in the T-zone on the side and on my cheeks. Um, it may be, and then I'm just going to rub it in and see how it fares. It does go on smoothly. It does not go on as thick as it looks, but it is very lightweight. I told you that smoke detector is going to be the theme of my videos. So for those of you who don't know, check out my prior videos. You'll understand the smoke detector joke. It's an inside joke there. But it does look like I do have the right color. It is M30. It does go on like it's going to appear darker than your skin. But once you rub it in... It does appear to give you full coverage, so I do like it. And I've only put on a little bit too. I did my T-zone, I did my cheek, and my other side the same way. Seems to really give me full coverage across. And the brush is working out well, people. It's working out well. So I do like it. does have a full coverage effect, so you don't need a lot. I wonder if you can see that. Can you guys see the full coverage here? And I think the color pretty much blends very well. And I do think I do have another foundation to add to my arsenal. So minted, this foundation is great. I'm going to say that I did pretty much match myself to the correct number very nice i like it i'll finish it up with my full additional makeup but this is the foundation guys and i think i do like the foundation oh and it's very lightweight it doesn't feel like i have a whole bunch on my face and not enough lot came off on my hands so that's pretty good and pretty nice let's add touch of concealer concealer is not minted but it is a concealer that I've used and had success with to avoid or lighten up dark circles around my eyes I think my next purchase I'll check out the concealer and do like a full face of minted to see how that goes. Let's do some lightening up. My normal center. Tip of my nose. Love that. Cheeks. I like to highlight some. Just a natural glow if I need it. Me and my friends do have this. It's funny because, like I said, Minted started out with the um, focused on nude lipstick. And funny, I did not purchase the nude lipstick. So that is also going to be on my checklist to do. But the nude lipstick for women of color, because again, not all nude lipsticks can be worn um, by certain shades. So we have this thing about going to work fully made up with like nighttime makeup on you know makeup with red lips it's just something you can't wear at work i i can't wear it at work because it just really seems like i'm ready for like a, the nightlife or i'm ready to go to a cocktail party at 9 a.m so I'm really interested in trying the nude lipstick because I really like to keep it very lightweight, very natural looking for business hours. And then when it's time to go out or a cocktail party or, you know, um, hanging out with your friends, it's a different makeup. It is not the makeup that I can sit in a 
board a room or a meeting and talk to people in red lipstick i just it, it's so funny because we we joke about it um and uh we joke about people's reaction to hey she's got on red lipstick like they pay attention to nothing that you're saying it's just really focused on that nice red lipstick in that pout so to avoid that whole experience a nude lip would be awesome for the work environment so i think i'm going to try the nude lip i'm going to try the concealer um next round and maybe i'll try some um eyeshadow now i have not been successful with eyeshadow in the past because i'm not really good at applying it because i tend to look like i have been sleeping all night or i've been you know partying all night so it's all in the application of it so that's why you don't see me put a lot of um eyeshadow on and I have this natural kind of darkness that may be like a smoky eye look I call it but it's just because I have dark circles <laughs> so that kind of works for me but I do think I'm going to try that next and kind of product review for now the um I'm glad the two young ladies had a glass of wine because they did an excellent job on this foundation I'm going to clean it up and show your final look okay hey guys this is the final look i added a little touch of pressed powder just to set my face so um and i also added a little bit of lip gloss a pop of color it is lip sense and what you're supposed to do is really apply it let it set for about 15 seconds and then the second part of it is really to add in the glossy look it does tend to stay on throughout the day if you're not a person that's constantly patting your lips but we'll do another product review on that as well but lip scents that's just lip gloss during the day that i wear um, if i wanted to add a pop of color this isn't what i would um call nude so i think what i will do is since i'm so in love with the minted foundation and by the way it's minted foundation m30 is the color that i tried i do like it it's lightweight just a little pressed powder on top highlights on the eyes and lashes and i do have a pop of color for my day look so again very lightweight blended very well I do like the padding I'm back I do like the fact that they included the minted team included the palette in here where I could see the different shades and you can match yourself I matched myself successfully I think with the m30 I could do probably an m20 as well but I'm not going to uh, upset the apple cart and if it's not broke don't fix it I think I'm going to stick with the m30 and it is the foundation stick by minted color on the bottom very nice packaging and I tried to pop a color with the lipsticks so this is the final look guys hopefully you like it so, I'm pretty happy with this so I'm going to continue to look into their products and I think the next time I'm going to try the new lipstick and I do need to try some eyeshadow um, to add on to this. So this is the first time you have seen Shenanigans with Story. Please subscribe to the channel and also leave your comments below. And don't forget to ring the bell for reminders. I do post videos weekly and um, join in. We'll try out some more new products, uh, but I am loving this minted good look. I do like the foundation. It matches well with my skin tone. So I'm very pleased with this and hopefully you enjoyed the video. So again, Storyo sending you great vibes, good vibes, and Storyo out.